Hey y'all, welcome back to the Southern Cottage. I am Connie and today is all about ribbon storage. So I have seen so many questions on so many different platforms about how to store your ribbon. I store mine in a ton of different ways. I'm gonna show you what I have and what I like and what I don't like about it. And a couple of things I'll try to link. Some of them are homemade. Some of them are common knowledge. Um, but I'll try to link what I can in the description. So let me show y'all around my craft room and the different options that I have for ribbon storage. Okay, y'all ignore all of this mess. <laughs> so this is one of the first things that I used. And that is just the regular plastic drawers. It is fine for loose ribbons. Um, I have a ton of grow grain and stuff in here that I need to be using up, but this is all loose ribbon. So we've got some in there and I think I've got a couple more down there. I have since found better ways to store them. Um, I don't use that as much as I should so that is not my first reach for stuff. So that's across my craft room. Let me show you what's directly behind me at my workstation. Okay, that shelf I built, God, 10 years ago or more, specifically to hold my mum ribbon. I actually measured the spools for the mum ribbon to make sure that it would sit behind, uh, that it would sit on the shelf correctly. I angled my shelves down so that they would keep the ribbon from rolling out front. It's just a slight angle and there's a back on it. Of course, these are, I think, one by sixes. It's been a long time, y'all. And then this is just uh, a piece of flat trim and I made it to where I could just put my ribbon in there and pull it and it would keep it from rolling completely off the spool. There's so much on here now that I don't really do that. Um, I don't work right here. So I'll just grab what I need and bring it to the table. But it it's easy in, easy out. If you know me, you know I have ADD. Um, I like having things organized, but I hate having to organize. So I need to be able to grab it simply and put it right back in just like that and there's one two three four five there's six shelves on this i can't give you dimensions because i don't remember what they are but it was actually built to fit uh in my old craft space but i have used it all over this one this is also behind my work area and these are the three drawer bins. They fit perfectly in these cubbies. And I have some things, loose rolls, that are sorted by color for the most part. If I need off colors, or if I, need, if I know I'm gonna make something with green, I'll go here first. And then I have things like, uh, I have them separated by stripes and chevron and and uh this one's not polka dots the other one is so i've got polka dots up here there's purple i think this might be that's just thrown in there pink orange and under here that's just my scraps but yeah that's another way to keep them separated i actually all of this stuff I used a, uh, I have a ribbon winder that I made to put on my cordless drill that winds them up really tight like that to make them easier to store. Okay, here is another way, and actually I have three ways all in this one area. So this is a one by six, and these are shelf hangers, shelf brackets that are just like that, but I've actually just bent this bottom one up to where it would sit at an angle to keep the ribbon spools from falling off. That is super cheap 
super simple. Easy to make, you just screw them in to the wall, bend them up, and put the board on top. If you need a quick fix, that is great. So these, I just texted my friend that gave them to me. I don't know where she got them. Um, once she gets back with me, I will have her, uh, I'll try to link them in the description box. But these are great. I can actually lift this up and bring the whole thing over to my workspace because of the way that they're attached to the wall. Um, you can take this pole out and uh, to make room for larger spools or you can use it for smaller spools. And then this one. This one is the cheap curtain rods from Walmart. They are attached to a wooden shelf that I covered in shelf liner because they were old. They came out of the cheap Walmart white shelving units, the melamine, and I just covered them up and screwed the brackets in for these curtain rods and they sit perfectly right on there. These are the shallow ones. And let me show you over here, right next to where I work, these are the longer ones. And this is a big spool of mum ribbon, y'all. It's heavy. And that is the shallow. This is one of the, the skinnier ones. And these up top are the ones that come out further. And they come out further from the wall. But they hold the larger spools as well. If I had it to do over again, the larger spools will definitely fit on these. Um, so I, I didn't really need to get the ones that stuck out further. The only thing is on these, if you go... A long distance you need to brace it in the middle so these came with them I turned them upside down to hold them up and that actually braces that a little bit better so I have these all over I have a lot of ribbon y'all and this is a shoe organizer it was meant to go over the back of a door I broke the top of the brackets on purpose to where they would sit flat and screwed it into the trim at the top of the wall there and as you can see there are a ton of rolls of ribbon in there a ton I've got stuff in front of it over here y'all ignore that so many rolls and here is a side view so let me give you the pros and cons this does hold a lot it's easy in, easy out, okay? My only issue with this is <laughs> sometimes things will fall out the side, but I'm okay dealing with that because it's not very often. It's only when I'm already over here. It just doesn't just fall out on its own. But I've got them double stacked, as you can see up there. There really aren't any pro, uh, cons to this method because it's great. Easy in, easy out, set it down or pull it out. Um, I love those. Like I said before, if I had to change and do it again, I would actually only do this size. I wouldn't get the larger ones for the larger rolls because they're really not necessary. You can see I've got larger rolls down here and they fit just fine on the smaller ones. This one, <laughs> The only con with that is it's so dang heavy. That is the only problem with that. Um, the pro is easy in, easy out. Y'all will see a common theme. I have open storage on a lot of things because I like to be able to pull it out, use it, throw it back in there. If I don't, it gets stacked up and it makes a mess. The drawers, I, these are not reached for that often. So those are fine just like they are. And these, we'll say that's the same as the shelf because it is. <laughs> same concept. 
these I will put things on there that I don't use on a regular basis because if I use an entire roll then you have to actually take the whole dang thing off pull the side off take all the ribbon spools off get the empty one put everything back together and put it on that's why I don't like poles going through my stuff so that's the only con with that the pro with that is you can actually put it on your table and I did this last year for homecoming season I did one set with all of my black mum ribbon, one set with all of my white and silver mum ribbon, and one set with whatever color school I was dealing with. So it was either green or maroon. And I had all three of those on my table. I will not be doing that this year because it takes up too much space, but it was really good to have that option last year. And lastly, I just got these. I just got them up. And it's the Dollar Tree pegboards. I bought these a while back. Didn't know where I wanted to use them. Didn't know what I wanted to use them for. While we were in San Antonio, I found some of the larger square ones. Those are here waiting to be put up. Haven't chosen where those are going, but I will. This space right here is narrow and I needed something that would hug the wall but I needed to be able to store a lot of things on it and as you can see I can and I have so much empty space um, I've got I uh, alternated where the pegs were so I would be able to hang here and it would come down in between there y'all do not overlook these pegboards from the Dollar Tree and let me show you this so this is a rod and i'm not sure that they still have them i think this came from ikea and it came from ikea probably about 15 years ago they probably don't have the exact same thing but it is screwed to the bottom of this shelf i'm a diyer y'all i do things myself um so <laughs> i put all this together myself <laughs> but on top of this shelf i just have my baskets of flowers and things so i just turned it upside down and screwed it to the bottom. And these are um, shower curtain hooks from the Dollar Tree. And they fit perfectly over this. And you can put, let me show you my braids. Let's do that. There's my corset. <laughs> anyway, you can punch a hole in the top of your ribbon, slide right on. I can I have it empty over here because that's right in front of my ribbon, but if I need to fill that up, it's easy to move. And then behind here, I just did this today. That is another set of Dollar Tree pegboards. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight dollars in the pegboards and the, the, oh Lord, the, the pegs and then the, the adhesive hangers that go on the back. And I have all of my cut ribbon hanging up, separated by printed ribbon and solid and separated by colors. And this is easy to move out of the way. And it's still back there. I can walk and I don't have an issue. I said that was the last one, but I completely forgot about this storage right over here. These are really, really long drawers. I think they're made to go under the bed. I purchased someone's entire mum supply and these came with it. So I actually have my ribbon stored in here and I'm gonna pull this all the way out so you can see. That is a really large drawer. That's probably three feet, two and a half, three feet long. It's the exact depth as my big filing cabinet. So I have all of my ribbon. Sorry, y'all. So I have it separated by gold. This one is black and maroon and silver. Black and white. 
white and silver. There's my green. And then I have red. And the rest of these are just filled with things that I used to work with. Except up top's my mesh tubing. Anyway, these are great. Um, I do not know the cost of these because I did not purchase them new. Yeah, I'm not done. <laughs> I have some one-offs in here. Just some overflow things that I didn't have room for up top. And then I do actually have a little bit of ribbon in here, but I have it separated out. This is sports themed ribbon and activities. And then this is my Mylar and some of the printed ribbon that I just bought at Amistad. And some of my things that I didn't want to lose, like my reflective ribbon. And then this is my flat mesh tubing. So these carts, I found these on sale at, where did I find them? Aldi's of all places. So keep your eyes out. Okay, that's it for this one. Um, there's a lot of different storage options. Um, if you can't find what you need, y'all make it, build it. Y'all can make mums, y'all can make a shelf. Y'all can make something to hold on to your ribbon. I'm telling you the curtain rods were so simple. If you don't want to put a bunch of holes in your wall, mount them on a piece of wood or an old piece of shelf, cover it up, make it look pretty, mount them all on there and just put two holes in your wall. That's all you need. Find a stud or two to mount that wood on and you've got two holes, that's it. So, like I said, if you can't figure out, if you can't find what you need, make it yourself. Make it yourself, y'all. You can do that. So, anyway, all right. On to my next video. I got more braids to make. Thank y'all for joining me. Uh, click subscribe if you're not, and click the bell so you're notified every time that I upload. Thank you so much. I'll leave you some, uh, a playlist or something on here that y'all might like. Maybe a tour of my craft room before I rearranged it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.